to the fort, which is in a construction of 15th, 16th century, was built by Emperor Akbar, Akbar the Great. It's a beautiful construction of the palaces of the fort. Right behind this wall has been all occupied by the Indian army. Since the time this fort has been built, this area of the fort was occupied by the Mughal army, later on was occupied by the British army, and now it has been occupied by the Indian army. Right in the front, three beautiful domes in white marble, is the mosque was built by Shah Jahan with the remaining marble of the Taj. But last few years, this mosque is closed. It's under renovation where nobody is allowed to go inside in that part of the area. The day is going to be an active mosque. It's going to be a big problem. Everybody will go inside for a prayer. So that's the reason they have not started the mosque yet. And right in the open courtyard, there's a tomb of the governor of the British Army of the Northwest region. His name was John Russell Colvin. He lived here on the fort and he died here. So when he died, he got a place to be battered here on the fort. So this tomb is antique, it's more than 154 years old. Right in the front is a beautiful work of the column and arches. In those days, in the sole of public audience, it was in a peacock throne. You must have heard about the peacock throne, which was originally kept in the sole of public audience. But when Shah Jahan shifted his capital from Agra to Delhi, he took that peacock throne to Delhi and later on the Shah of Tehran, Nadir Shah, took that peacock throne from India in 1739. So it's in Persia now, that peacock throne, which was carrying more than 5,000 precious and semi-precious stones. It was made out of 22 carats of gold. All these corridors around over here, the ladies were walking behind the curtains in those days. It was in a parda system into the palaces. When they're walking behind, they can watch and see what's happening out into the court. But the people standing outside in the court can watch, cannot watch and see what's happening behind the curtain there. Look at the work of restoration here. The whole part of the piece of the block has been removed. You don't have to remove the whole column. They have cut out the facade and interlock a new piece with the iron rods. Iron rods straight in one line. They cut it right from the center and twist it on two sides so it's hold the pieces very well like in a clamp. This is how the way the work of the interlocking system of the pieces have been done in those days. Let's walk a little right ahead. Let us see a beautiful work of the arches straight in one line. All the columns can be counted very well. Thank you.